One fall evening on the island of Soror, Raymond, James, Donald, and Caleb the Greeny too were in Tim and Shed's chatting as usual. Suddenly, Sir Calvin had came to ask him something. Hello, engines. I've got a job for you lot. What is it, sir? A train of steel needs to be taken to Knapford Harbour, and I need three engines to take it. Who wants to go? I'll go. Me too. Same here. I wish I could go and do something. I want to be useful for once. I don't want to sit here in the shed. Do you two think something quite scary might happen at the scrapyard? Like a ghost. You too scared of a ghost? There's no such thing as ghosts. No, we're not. Ghosts are things that just go bump in the night. That's all. But when they got to the smelter's yard, it was very spooky. Oh my. Oh dear. They puffed slowly through the piles of jagged steel and twisted scrap metal. The air grew hotter and hotter. Every puff they went deeper through the scrapyards. Spatter and Dodge were following nearby. The two diesels saw a chance to scare a couple of steamies. When the three engines rolled by, they moaned and groaned. That? You said there are no such thing as ghosts. Th things that go bump in the night, you said. <laughs> Bust my buffers! Help! It's a ghost! Let's get away from here! The two diesels were having great fun. Raymond, James, and Donald pulled up to the smelting shed. They gasped at the ghostly shadows and fizzing sparks. Their wheels felt as if they were frozen, but they had to go inside. I hope that ghost isn't in there. Me too. And they rolled into the smelting shed. Inside, chains clanked and strange shadows danced around the walls. I must be brave, but it was spooky. James was turning around, ready to shunt some trucks. Suddenly, a great whoosh of sparks lit up the shed. Cinders and ashes! James was terrified. He didn't notice a white tarp falling on top of him. It fell, covering James funnel of footplate. The ghost! It's got me! He steamed away as fast as his pistons could pump. Raymond and Donald fought James as a ghost and they raced out of the smoking shed. The ghost is after me! Spratter and Dodge fought James as a ghost too, and they raced away. Raymond and Donald were right behind him, and James was right behind them. Tatum of Sheds was quiet and peaceful. All the engines were fast asleep. Raymond and Donald's whistles soon woke them up. It's Raymond! Something must be wrong! Suddenly, they saw Raymond, Donald, Spider, and Dodge. Stop! 
the four of them applied the brakes and stopped just in time. The ghost is after us! The engines were scared, but James raced past the short curve and the tarp flew off. That's no ghost! That's James! The engines didn't feel scared anymore, but they did feel foolish. <laughs> then, the fat controller arrived in his pajamas. He was cross. What is all this fuss and bother? It was causing confusion and delay. But sir, the flatbeds were rattling. And we heard moaning. And groaning. The fat controller looked at Sparge. Do you know anything about this? It's, um, it, it was us, sir. For your punishment, you will go back and deliver the shipment at once. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. And they rolled away. Whenever the free engines returned to the scrapyard, they knew there was nothing to be scared of. After all, there was no such thing as ghosts. It was all silly make-believe.